Hey everybody, so it's kind of a dreary day today. So we're gonna try to make, I think, five or six different things utilizing this, which is store-bought pizza dough. The first thing we're going to make are some garlic knots. So I have Lucy here to teach me how we're gonna cut this. So this is about half a pound, which is eight ounces. So would you cut that into eight pieces for me? Mm -hmm. So what we're looking for here are rolls that are gonna be about an ounce each. So if she cuts it into eight more or less equal pieces, we could take our time and weigh them on a scale, but it's not that important. Perfect. All right, that's good enough. We can tear them the rest of the way. Now go ahead and grab one. Okay. Whichever one you want. This one. Nice. And just tear it off. No big deal. I'll move these out of the way for you. And we're going to go ahead and roll this pizzas. into a snake. <laughs> they do look like little pizzas. Just roll it into a snake about a little wider than both your hands together. Yep, take both your hands. And we want it to actually stick a little bit. We have a little flour on our bench, but if it sticks, it's gonna help it. Nice work. Okay. So we'll roll them into snakes first. You can tie your shoes, right? Yeah. All right, so we're gonna make a different kind of knot. We're gonna take the two ends we're going to take and just stick it through the hole. Make a little loop, stick it through the hole, just like that. There you go. Perfect. Just like that. That's exactly what I want. Yeah, go ahead. Just tie them into a little knot. Yours looks better than mine does. And it doesn't actually matter what they look like. They don't need to be perfect. We just want them all to be pretty similar in size. But the thing with making them into knots is that it's going to give all these cool little crevices for our garlic butter to go into. Nice. And we can, if the ends are too long, we can tuck them under. You can leave them out like that too and we'll see how, how much that one browns. But what we're going to do is cover this with a damp towel and just let it sit for 45 minutes or so until they get a little bit puffy. Why don't you go back to playing Legos and then I'm going to make the garlic butter for these. All right, so Lucy's down playing Legos. So now it's time to make our garlic butter. I'm gonna make a ton of garlic butter, way more than I need for these knots because I'm gonna use it on a few different things today. And if you're gonna take the time to cut up garlic and make garlic butter, why not make a bunch? Keep it in the refrigerator until you need it. So what I have here is actually elephant garlic. I'm gonna break one of these huge cloves off. This is not actually garlic. Uh, it's similar in flavor, but it's not nearly as strong. This is all they had at the supermarket, so this is what we're getting. I like to cut off the woody end. And just like with real garlic, if you put your knife on top, give it a little tap, you can break that skin. You don't wanna smash it completely, because garlic, believe it or not, has a lot of sugar in it. But now I'm gonna take this and just slice it nice and thin. Then I'm gonna take all these pieces and just line them up. And essentially we just are julienning this elephant garlic. So we've got all these tiny little matchsticks of elephant garlic, would be, which would be super cool depending on what you're gonna do with it. But I don't want that, so I'm gonna take and I'm gonna cut perpendicular to those cuts. Do it this way actually so you can see. okay if a couple of them get out of there and I don't get them completely cut because now I'm just going to put it all together with one hand on the front part of the knife I'm going to rock back and forth and that's it if I wanted to get it really really fine I could actually take and use the side of my knife I'll do a little demonstration and I can smash it like this Use the edge of my knife and mash it into a paste like that. But I don't care about that. I have one other clove here that I already did. I'm going to transfer this in here and then we'll go make our garlic. So I have almost half a pound of butter here. It's a little less than two sticks, minus the part that we had on our sourdough this morning. Uh, to that, I'm going to add all this elephant garlic. 
which is two whole cloves, which is a ton of it. But like I said, it's not quite as strong as real garlic. So we'll put that all in here. Then to this, I'm gonna add some fresh ground black pepper. And a very generous pinch of salt. Now I like to do this and allow my butter and garlic to cook together. One, because it softens the garlic, and this is especially important if you're using real garlic, but it softens the garlic and it, it mellows the flavor a little bit, but it also flavors your butter. So at the end here, we're gonna have flavorful chunks of garlic, but all of the actual butter will be flavored with our garlic. This will only take about three or four minutes, and then I'm gonna let it just come to room temperature and slowly cool down. All right, welcome back, Lucy. So our dough has had a chance to rise a little bit. I made the garlic butter. Why don't you go ahead and start brushing it on? Okay. How does it smell? Really good. Can you smell it downstairs? Yeah. So yeah, there you go. You can be aggressive. Now all the little folds in our knots are going to be somewhere that holds on to this butter. And there's just salt and pepper and garlic in there. That looks great. I want you to put a little bit of the seasoning on there. Okay. So we're just using some dry Italian seasoning today. That's what we happen to have. Just a little pinch of it. That's perfect, Lucy. All right, now go ahead and put some Parmesan cheese on them. Nice okay. big pinch. Those look awesome. Go ahead and pop them in the oven. Those look awfully good. Yeah. Hey Lucy, those look awesome. Mm -hmm. What did we do right after they came out of the oven? We brushed them with some more butter so they would be shiny and they would have more flavor. Those look fantastic. Before you bite into one, will you read us this morning's question? Sure. What is a legume? What is a legume? Excellent question. All right, sweetheart, tear into one. Let's see what you think. Were these hard to make? No. Yeah. What do you think? They're really good. All right. Bye. Have a nice day.